There she is, still in the chair. A magical wave, some lightning, and she's gone. Vanished in an instant, leaving behind the lone masked man in his fancy chair. Maybe he should sit down and rethink this trick. So how does our masked magician make his lovely lady disappear? Don't worry, she doesn't go far. Here are the secrets. As always, the magic moments happen beneath the sheets. And a lot of things are going on simultaneously. First, there's a hidden breakaway seat built into the bottom of the chair. When the curtain is raised for the first time, the girl in the chair releases the seat allowing her to slide her lovely legs into a trap door hidden in the platform. From above, we see how she releases the seat and steps into the trap. When the assistants lower the sheet, it appears as though the girl is still sitting in the chair. The next time the curtain is raised, it covers the chair completely. But that's not the girl. Notice the black section in the center of the chair? It conceals the next secret. This black headpiece. When flipped in this position, it takes the place of the girl's head. As the assistants lift the sheet, the magician secretly flips up the false head as the girl slips down into the platform and disappears from view. Here it is from above. The head form drops into place and is covered by the sheet. To the audience, it looks like the girl is still seated in the chair. She seems to vanish, but where did she go? The staircase looks too thin for the girl to fit inside, but upon closer inspection, we see the staircase is actually thicker than it first appears. The girl disappears into the platform, and from the back, we can see that it is actually hollow, allowing plenty of room for the girl to hide. With her legs in one side, the girl is able to arch her back and squeeze into the other half. She reaches up and raises the seat bottom back into position. And now our assistant is completely concealed within the platform. When the magician pulls back the sheet, the motion causes the false head piece to drop back behind the center of the chair where it started, and the girl is gone, leaving the magician plenty of time to think about what he's done. Next, the secrets of turning one luxury car into another with the help of two WWE divas and making an ordinary dime penetrate a solid sheet of rubber. And coming up, a great wall of steel is no match for the masked magician. Find out how he walks through it with ease and how he makes an orchestra disappear. When magic's biggest secrets finally revealed, returns. The magician will now attempt a classic bit of close-up magic using a shot glass, a dime, and a small sheet of rubber. The dime is balanced on top of the rubber sheet, and the magician is stretching the ends of it over the shot glass. He points to the dime, which in masked magician terms means, well, watch this. A magical wave. And he begins to gently rub the dime with his finger until it's gone. But where? He lifts the piece of rubber, and there it is, in the bottom of the shot glass. A genuine dime that can magically pass through solid rubber. So how did the masked magician make the dime penetrate the rubber sheet? It looks impossible, but there's a secret. The piece of rubber is a special high-tension polymer, the kind used by dentists that's made to stretch a long way without breaking. It can be pulled so tightly around the dime that it becomes see-through and gives the illusion that the dime is resting on top of it. In fact, the dime is really on the opposite side. This side with the dime is the one that goes over the glass. When the magician stretches the sheet around the glass, the coin appears to be sitting on top of the rubber. 
actually, it's merely stuck to the bottom side. He taps the coin with his finger and you can see that the tapping releases it from the rubber sheet and sends it into the glass. A simple trick when you know the secret. We know that world famous magicians have used their tricks to impress supermodels and beautiful Hollywood starlets the same way some guys use flashy cars to impress women who are out of their league. Tonight, the masked magician will use both. Here he shows off a late model Bentley. I say a Bentley because I'm not sure that it's really his. Then again, sexy models usually stop short of examining the registration. Aside from the price tag, there's nothing extraordinary about this car. Now for some girls, a parade of assistants. But the women he wants to impress tonight are WWE divas Eve and Maria. I can see why. The magician is going to attempt to turn these photos of the divas into the real thing. It's no secret that the real girls would be much more impressive than their pictures. So it's time for magic. As usual, there's a large sheet involved. The magician always seems to have an extra king-size sheet lying around just in case. He's prepared for anything. The assistants cover up the Bentley. The magician steps forward and tells us to keep an eye on the super luxury vehicle. The girls raise the sheet for a moment. And now they're lowering it back over the car. Something's different. Let's get a better look. The Bentley has magically turned into a Lamborghini full of fun, complete with WWE divas Eve and Maria. Now that's what I call an impressive trick. Excellent work, masked man. Why can't they all be this spectacular? Holy moly. So, how does the magician take an ordinary $200,000 Bentley, a couple of sexy photos, put them together and magically transform them into a Lamborghini overflowing with WWE divas? The secret is simple and starts with the fact that this trick can only be performed for a television audience. When the illusion begins, the magician shows off the expensive Bentley for the camera. We see this side of the vehicle, but notice that the magician doesn't invite the camera to walk around with him. That's another secret. The key to the trick is that the Lamborghini is parked in place the whole time, with its gorgeous passengers already inside. Before the trick began, a stagehand backed the Bentley into place. Notice how much larger it is than the Lamborghini? The Lamborghini was chosen for its sex appeal, but also because it is much smaller than the Bentley and more easily concealed when the two are parked side by side. When the magician appears to be walking around the car, he casually indicates that there's nothing on the other side. But from this angle, we can see that he's merely waving his arms and acting like there's nothing more to see behind the car. With both cars in place, how did the magician make the Bentley disappear? The secret is hidden inside the Bentley. Sitting behind the wheel is a stagehand. Say hi, Mom. Meanwhile, the stunning wrestling stars, Eve and Maria, are waiting inside the Lamborghini. So the whole routine with their photo is nothing more than a flashy way to convince us that perhaps they'll be appearing inside the Bentley. On cue, the assistants cover the Bentley with a large sheet. At this moment, off-camera stagehands turn on a couple of powerful fans to fill the sheet with air. This is when the magician carefully stands to the left side of the frame, blocking our view of what's really happening. While he blocks the left edge of the sheet, the Bentley is simply driven away. As soon as it's gone, the camera and the magician move towards the car, which creates an optical illusion as the girls move the sheet further back to cover the Lamborghini. From this angle, you can see how far they have to walk. 
The stagehand turns off the fans and the girls lower the sheet down onto the Lamborghini. On his command, they remove the sheet and reveal the divas in their revealing outfits. The transformation is complete. I know I've been transformed into a diva fan, especially now that I know the secrets. Next, a trick you can do at home. The magician shows you how to make a can float through the air. And watch as a string quartet makes beautiful music together, even after they disappear. Plus, find out how a superstar walks through a great wall of steel. When magic's biggest secrets finally revealed, returns. For this next trick, the magician will use this ordinary soda can. He holds the can gently between the fingertips of both hands. He blows on the can, and suddenly, it begins to rise. It must be highly carbonated soda. He snatches it before it goes too high. Wait, now it's trying to escape again. If he's not careful, it will fly away for good. Looks like he's got it under control. Who knew that soda could be lighter than air? How did the magician make the soda can float? The secret isn't too hard to put your finger on. From the back, you can see that the can is actually attached to his right thumb by a flesh-colored plastic shell that magicians call a thumb tip. When his thumb is inside this tip, it's virtually invisible. At the end of the thumb tip is a clear rubber suction cup. This cup sticks to the can, and the magician is ready to create the illusion that the can is floating. From this angle, we can see that all he's doing is lifting the can with his thumb. With his fingers outstretched, all the magician has to do is use a little bit of pantomime to make it look like the can is floating away from him. Who knew that the secret to floating soda was all in the thumb? The magician shows off his latest contraption, an elevated stage that is set for a musical and magical performance. He invites a string quartet to enter and take their positions on the stage. They climb the stairs and find their seats, just as the girls come in to help out with the trick. Black ties and a bow. How formal. I guess it comes free with the tuxedos. Hit it, boys! Now there's a level of sophistication we haven't seen before, and won't for long. A curtain is going up. And back down. Where did they go? We can still hear the music, but the quartet has vanished. The magician gestures for the curtain to go back up. And when it comes down, they're back. Still playing and still classing up the joint. Ah, so soothing. The masked magician has pulled off another one. Okay, so what really happened when the magician allegedly made the orchestra disappear? They're in on the secret, so why shouldn't we let you in on it too? The quartet takes their seats and begins to play as the curtain rises. That's when the 